Hello my beautiful makeup lovers, thank you so much for tuning in with me today and as always a very warm welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you makeup items that I bought even though I didn't want them or makeup items that I didn't want and still bought, something like this along the lines. I'm not entirely sure yet how I'm gonna name this but um, it's basically gonna be about makeup items that I knew up front when I saw them being announced or when they, re when they released that I knew those are not for you, not because I thought they were bad products, just because they were not up my alley or they were not really meant for me, honestly. So I have 10 items here for you that I want to share with you and two of them I actually could make work out for me and then I'm really liking them now. But this is definitely not a video of, hey, you should buy anyway things that you don't really want because you can make them work. That's not the message I want to send here. It's more also kind of a little bit giving like a therapy to myself. Like you bought all this even though you didn't want it and now it's here and you have to deal with it. And I'm not proud of it or anything. This is not a video where I'm like, look, I have all this stuff. It's more of a, yeah, you know, thera therapeutical, do you say it like that, video for me. Also the thought, profit, thought profit process in front of, up front of it. You know, when I thought about which items I'm gonna put here, um, it was really eye-opening to me, so yeah. It's maybe going to be interesting for you and was even more interesting to me, I guess. I would say let's jump into it. One quick thing, um, the dog is sitting down here and is chewing on his bone. And I don't know if you can hear that or anything. If you can, I'm sorry, but that's, you know, if I take it away from him, it's going to be a huge fuss. So let's just try to ignore it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first item that I want to share with you that might also make a bit the idea of this video a little bit clear is this palette here from Michelle Cosmetics. Um, this is a fawn palette from them. This is how it looks like. And that's how it looks from the inside. <laughs> I, mean, if, I mean, if you have ever seen a couple of videos on my channel, you might think this is not what you usually share on your channel. And you're absolutely right, I don't. And the thing is, that they have like three eyeshadow palettes available at the moment, which is the Witchcraft palette, which is kind of a bit of greenish, the Queen Bee or Bee Queen palette or something like this, and this palette. And they offer them individually or in a bundle where you save $12, at uh, 12 pounds. It was 12 pounds, which would be probably around $15, I don't know. And so, yeah, that's kind of the deal you can get there. And I thought, ah, oh, you know, you have a couple of neutral palettes and they are all from pretty much mainstream brands. You should also have a neutral palette from an indie brand. Why not? Who am I? Like, what was going on in my head? And I thought, oh, it's just gonna cost you 12 pounds. But in the end, I mean, I do like also doing neutral looks. I don't do them a lot on my channel because I don't think they're very exciting to look at, to do, you know? But um, I do wear neutral makeup when I go to work, for example, or I also like to do it once in a while, you know, just for in my, in my free time, you know. Um, but not that often, honestly. Like 70% of the time that I do makeup, it's gonna be colorful. And so I do have my go-to neutral palettes. Like I, for example, the go-to neutral palette for me is most of the time the Naked Free palette because this is the kind of neutral tones that I like personally. This doesn't look like the Naked Free and I do use this once in a while but still in the end, even though it was just 12 pounds at that time that I got it, it was 12 pounds pretty much wasted. There are a couple of shades in here that I really like. I really enjoy this color Water Reflects. I really like this kind of like gray brown arcorn and also this one here woodland sunset is really pretty um but still shades i could have lived without it honestly like and i don't know why i bought this this was this is definitely an example of buying a bundle is still wasting money if you're not gonna use all of the items in that bundle and yeah so i'm this is a big example of like i would have never wanted this even wouldn't have been in the bundle and that's I still got it like what's wrong with me okay let's move on um, 
The next one is, let me make a bit of order here, which I want to grab next. Okay. Um, so the next one up is um, this, the butter bronzer. So it's not that I didn't want a butter bronzer, but as you notice, maybe I have two. Let me open them quickly. I have two of those. Once I have the light bronzer and one I have how it's called sun-kissed bronzer. They almost look the same actually on camera and also in real life, but this one does pull much more orange. It's a bit deeper than this one. And honestly, this one is already for me only to be used when I'm pretty tan. So at the moment, for example, I cannot use it. It's too intense for me, even though it looks so fair. And this one, even in summer, <laughs> this is too much for me. And it pulls so orange. And when I walked in the store, I was sad that I want this color, the color light bronzer. But I thought, because it was kind of in a transition time, you know, where I was not really tan, but also not really fair, I thought, no, but when I'm really tan, I need this. Not that I already have a bronzer that I use when I'm pretty tan, but no, I felt like I have to have this as well. For reasons I don't understand, I didn't really want this when I walked in the store. I just wanted this. I did not want a darker bronzer that I cannot really wear. But something inside of me made me convinced that I do need this for like if this is gonna become my favorite bronzer of all time maybe then I do need a shade that also fits me when I'm really really tan which is super stupid I never use it as you can see I I don't know if you can tell but it's like pretty much all new I used it once realized it pulled super orange and super deep on me and looks terrible and I'm gonna give this away actually to some of my friends with a deeper complexion after I did this video But I wanted to keep it for this video um, But I am gonna give this one away And I'm just gonna keep this one. So luckily I have friends that have a deeper complexion than I do Otherwise I would be sitting on this and it would be pointless. So yeah, this is one of the examples I didn't want the shade still bought it because Well the quintessence of all of those items is because I'm stupid and Let's move on so I have everything here on a pretty down table, so that's why I'm leaning always down. Um, the next one is this one. I actually shared on my channel saying, I'm not going to buy this. And then I did. The Naked Sherry palette, look at it. All here. <laughs> um, so I said, I'm not going to buy this. Like I did it in one of my new makeup releases videos. I said, I'm not going to buy this because it looks not really sherry like it's not it looks a bit like a modern renaissance knockoff honestly and i said like no way i'm gonna buy this and then one day you know one of the days where you just walk into a you know makeup store i did walk in the sephora and i swatched it there and i was like oh man that's much better than i thought it's actually leaving way more pink than i thought it's actually the colors have like the shimmers they have a way more dimension to them than I thought this is really much prettier than I thought and this was the moment I should have been like good for Urban Decay bye bye no because I thought this is so much prettier than I thought I bought it why why I mean this is not a bad palette don't get me wrong this is a good quality palette I like it you can do beautiful pink looks with this but honestly, I'm more person, if I do a pink look, I do like kind of this like um, dusty pinks, like cool toned, gray leaning pinks, rather than this very sherry leaning pinks. And therefore, when I feel like a pink look is not really the palette I'm thinking of. I do use it sometimes. It does have a little bit of purpose in my collection. I don't have a lot of shades who are like this. But anyway, I would not have needed this. I would have never missed this in my collection. But this was definitely the effect of like, this is so much prettier than I thought. I should buy it. Still, I didn't need it, you know? <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? Another one. Um, let's move on. So the next one is also a bit of a... What, what was I thinking? <laughs> okay, so little pre-story I did recently buy a couple like in December beginning of December end of November I bought a couple of Linda Halberg products and I um, got also the infinity palette like the original one and 
I was first of all surprised that I wanted this and second of all I was surprised now that I really like it. I really enjoy it. I'm usually not a face palette person, you know, like bronzer, blush, highlight, all in one. I'm usually not going for this and I really like this palette. It's even my project pen actually and at least one of the shades and I was so, you know, like, wow, nice, cool, this is a great palette. And then I thought I should also buy this one. <laughs> The Infinity D palette for my complexion. You can see totally, right? Like this for me as a blush, the highlights fits perfectly. Well, it doesn't. So um, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, thinking that this is going to be a good face palette for me. I mean, I could, I can use this one really sheared out as a blush. The highlights I cannot use as a highlight. I can use Umba maybe very lightly to contour, but I do like the shade uh, Cigar in the Infinity palette better than this color. It's just more towards me. And I the color light here, here, I actually I could use this probably as a blush. And this red shift for me is like, I don't have a red shift in my face. It's totally useless for me. And this color exists also in the original Affinity palette. So I don't know what I was thinking. I was just carried away and so surprised how much I liked the original Affinity palette that I was like, I should also have this one, which is super stupid. Like if you are fair complexion, this is, this, this is not for you. Like, I mean like okay I can use it now as an eyeshadow palette and do and that's I put it now with my eyeshadow palettes rather than with my face products with my complexion products but honestly this like would not be an eyeshadow palette like if this would have been in, at least as an eyeshadow palette just I would have not bought this either like I just got carried away because I liked the original so much and while I think that the shades in here have good quality I don't think it's for anybody with a fair complexion unless you really want to use it as an eyeshadow palette and it could be really good for you but as a complexion palette as a face palette for someone like me you know milk kind of person this is not this is not working and yes yeah, so I have it now and I do use it as an eyeshadow palette I actually really like this shade Kozar here as a, it's like an orange shimmer which is really beautiful but honestly, I wouldn't have needed this. I, I did not want to buy this initially. Like I thought, you're gonna buy the original one, not the deep one, because this is the one that's meant for you. And that's where I should have stopped. But I didn't. Let's move on. So the next one is one that actually worked out for me pretty well. Um, I did not want this in the beginning. This is the Novena palette. I was like, what is this? Like, who needs this? Who needs this kind of palette? I don't. Um, has a little bit of purple in it, a little bit of pink, but that's it. And I did buy it anyway because it was a little bit the same thing like with the Naked Cherry. I did see it in the store, I swatched it, I was super impressed by the shimmers, honestly. And I did buy it then in the end, obviously. And I, I was like already a bit feeling guilty, like, oh yeah, you bought this now, you didn't really want this, what are you doing? And then I played around with it a little bit and I really ended up actually liking this one. It's actually even now in my project pan. So um, that's how much I think I like. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today um, is the Novena palette. So I really, really like this one. Um, it worked out nice for me, but actually like, I mean, let's face it, these two shades, I barely touched them. And yeah, but now, like, I, I do like it. Like, with this one, it worked out for me. But you can see, I showed you already so many items where it did not work out. And now I'm showing you one that it was, that I anticipated, that I anticipated wrongly the item. But most of the time, it just doesn't work out. It just doesn't. But with this one, I'm happy I was stupid. But, um, of course... It, it, that shouldn't be the example of the video, let's say. Okay, let's move on to the next thing, and that's a lipstick. That's this lipstick from Melts, a bullet lipstick from them, in the color um, 1969. It looks like this is kind of like um, an orange, like a muted orange. It looks like this. And why do we have a black stroke there? 
whatever. Okay, so um, it looks like this and it is um, a nice color. I really like this color. And before I bought this one, I was watching so many reviews of those bullet lipsticks and everybody said, ah, oh, they are terrible. They sit so thick and they sit so thick on your lips. They don't really sink into the lips. They smudge a lot. They don't, they cling to dry patches. And I felt like, ah, people, you just don't know how to do it. And I can agree a hundred percent. So even though I knew that plenty of people that I usually trust said, this is not a good lipstick. I did not really want to buy this in the beginning, but then I saw this color and I was like, oh, maybe I can make it work, you know? Like why I just didn't check another brand that has a similar color? No, it had to be the melt lipstick. I don't know what's wrong with me, but this one was like, I heard from so many people, don't buy it, this is not good. Still I went there, even though I knew I did not really want this. Like when I saw first the reviews of the melt lipsticks, I was not particularly interested in any of the shades. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna buy this. I don't want this. I don't want a lipstick that goes super thick in my on my lips and doesn't sink in and smudges. And um, I was fine with this, but then I was on the search for a color like this, and I saw this one, and I was like, but maybe I can make it work. Couldn't. I couldn't. Let's move on. Okay, um, next thing up, we have three more items. Um, next up is kind of the same thing like with the um, Infinity palette. I have um, from Juvia's Place the Saharan Blush Volume 2 is the one I bought first. And I liked it super much, I liked it a lot and that's why I decided I'm also going to buy the Volume 1, which is clearly meant for deep skin tones. Same stupid thing, you know, like you might think someone like me learns from their mistakes, but no, I don't apparently because I went the same way. And the same thing, I do use this now as an eyeshadow palette. For this, it's actually really nice. Um, it doesn't make a big difference to Julia's Place eyeshadow palettes because they all have this big puns. So I just keep it there, ignoring that it says blush. <laughs> and that's okay, like I, I do use this, but Honestly, I wouldn't have needed this at all and I barely also reach for it. It's more of a guilty reach when I do. I don't know, like, what, what, what's the deal with me? Like, what's, what, what's the deal, honestly? Like, did I think, oh, this is going to be a brilliant highlighter on you, Bianca. Like, this is going to be such a great blush. And while I do actually really like this pink uh, as an eyeshadow, the rest of it is like pretty nothing that like if you take this out is nothing I would have ever bought as an eyeshadow palette but I still have it now and it's the same thing I'm also thinking giving this to my friend with a deeper complexion but um, she said like she doesn't want to have <laughs> so many face palettes you know like and she said like this is a bit too intimidating to her the infinity palette she uh, did not really like the colors so I think I'm gonna be just asking one of my other friends but not too many of them are so much into makeup that they would like this so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this probably just keep on using it as an eyeshadow palette okay let's move on to um, one more item obviously um, and this is this one the Emily added the ones palette I did not want to buy this one day um, started sneak peeking this I was like no this is huge I mean like look how huge it is it's tremendously huge and I didn't want this I really did not and because it was not just because it has so many shades but also because it's just so big you know like and I hate this kind of super big palette <clears throat> And now I'm sitting here having it in my hands, obviously, because I got so caught up, like there was so much discussion around this palette, like, it's good, it's bad, it sucks, it's great. I don't know, I just wanted to know, I was so curious to see about this palette. And in the end, it's exactly what I thought. It's an okay thing, it's not super good, it's not super bad, it's just something mediocre quality-wise, according to me, at least. And I, I don't... Like now I'm sitting on this big, big palette 
I actually gonna give this to my sister-in-law. Um, I asked her if she wants it and she said yes. So this one goes to her and but this is an example of like just buying pure of curiosity, pure of wanting to be able to say something about it and having a stand with it. And this is never why you should buy something. If you see something that's released and you say like, no, this is not for me at all, from the size, from the color story at all, then don't buy it just because people are speaking about it. It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. Bianca, listen to yourself. It doesn't make sense. Okay, the last item that I have here is actually one that in the end worked out for me, which is also exemplary for one certain um, spending habit that I sometimes have that leads me to buy things I don't really want. Um, this is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. This is how it looks like. The mirror is broken, but it's totally my fault. It's not the company's fault, just to let you know. So these are all highlights. They all fit me. I can all wear them. So of course I cannot. Um, I can oh, so big. I can wear this one, this one, this one, ugh, this one, and this one. If I haven't shown it yet. So I can wear pretty much uh, the half of the highlighters. I can make work for me. So it's okay. But um, there are obviously highlights in here that are not working for me. So how why did I buy this? I bought this because I thought uh, I wanted to buy Try Give Me Glow Cosmetics since so long, such such a long time, honestly, and it's such a long time since you know since this year I wanted to try Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and I really um, liked the eyeshadow. I was eyeing the eyeshadow palettes, and so I constantly checked their website, and they were always out of stock of everything of everything like. Why do you even have it still on the website if everything is out of stock all the time? And then there was one time that they restocked this Summer Vibes palette. This was the one I was the most interested in. So I was like, yeah, you know, you're going to buy this, finally. And then I got a phone call. And uh, it was like maybe a 20 minutes call. And when I got back to my computer, it was gone. It was out of stock. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? You know, and then... Pure out of frustration, pure out of frustration, I bought the highlighter palette. Even though I didn't want this, like this was the only palette they had in stock, and then I bought a couple of single eyeshadows as well that they still had in stock. But I just bought this because I couldn't get the items that I actually wanted, and I really wanted to try it. And then I went with something that I didn't really want, and here I am <laughs> with this huge ass eye highlighter palette. Um, but this one I told you is actually one that worked out for me in the end because what I actually started doing oops, with this one is I use the highlights as highlights and they have a really good formula. Like these are beautiful highlights. Like look at this. This is one of the shades. And it's beautiful. It's super beautiful. Or this one here, also super beautiful. Oh, absolutely stunning highlights and ooh, really glowy exactly how I like it um, but of course I cannot use these like this one and these two as highlights so I thought hmm I'm gonna try this one as a blush topper and that looks actually super pretty I really love that I really love to use this one on top of a matte um, blush I use it, for example, with the one from Wet n Wild in the color Icon Blush in the color Mellow Wine. I use this one on top and that looks super pretty. I really like this. And I thought, hmm, 
maybe I can try to use those because I have mainly matte bronzers. I thought maybe really lightly I can dust over those a little bit over those um, matte bronzers, not intense, just really, really lightly um, to give them a bit more glow when I want a more glowy look. And that also worked out really, really nice. So actually, I'm really happy that I got this now because I kind of discovered a way of using um, like shades like I would have never used them before especially for the bronze so the only shade I don't really use here is this kind of um, lilac um, thingy that lilac highlighter I don't use that one but the rest I use really I really like to use them uh, a lot and so I'm happy this one worked out for me but still it's for me like a huge literally huge reminder don't buy items just because you cannot get the ones that you actually wanted. Be patient or just look around if you can find something that's similar. And I mean, I, I don't, I wouldn't have needed this. It's just, I was just lucky that it turned out for me so well. But this could have been a huge disaster and a huge waste of money because this is also not cheap. It's like 75 US dollars. So I was really stupid there. So. Okay, that's about it. That's all the items that I wanted to show you. Um, so you can see that only two out of the ten in the end kind of worked out for me. And that shows you that most of the time, if your intuition tells you, do not buy this, this is not for you or this is not up your alley, that most of the time your intuition is right and you're just going to sit on it and it's stupid. And for me, doing this video was kind of like a little bit of a therapeutical thing as I already said in order to show myself what I actually bought just because I was not getting what I wanted just because I saw it in store and it was a little bit prettier than I thought just because it was a bundle deal you know reasons like that which are always stupid and for me like now entering like being in my low buy here that's really something that um, I needed to do a little bit to also show myself that I really need this low buy here because of purchases like that. And that's about it. That's uh, how I want to finish the video. Let me know in the comments down below what are the items that you bought that you didn't really want, but you bought it anyway, and how it turned out for you. Let me know, I would be really interested in this, and if any of those items are actually also on that list. That would be funny to know, funny, well, cool to know, let's say. Um, okay, so please give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So I can see you here in my next video. Bye bye!